hello today in this video i want to show you how you can run a battery fry python from start to finish this is not an installation video if you don't have the uh, battery fry python installed uh, i will drop the link in this video so you can go and check out you can install the battery fry python but i've got uh, a tutorial video for you right here right now how you can run the battery fry python from start to finish in this video i will also include uh, the step on how you can uh, run uh, make video call with it uh, with true whatsapp video call i believe some persons have difficulties running video calls on whatsapp with avatar fire python because of the restriction that whatsapp has on external uh, on webcam source like obs so in this video i'm going to run the avatar fire python teach you how you can run it teach you how you can connect your OBS and teach you exactly how you can use WhatsApp to run a Vatify Python using the NDIC tools and if you don't have the NDIC tools I also have the description of in this video on how you can install NDIC tools to be able to run uh, video calls on your WhatsApp okay so let's get started okay first thing first we're going to open the Vatify Python uh, I will hit window and search uh, Miniconda this one here anaconda prompt miniconda i actually am using anaconda so if you're using miniconda if this uh, this one here is showing miniconda on your own system don't get disturbed okay it's the same thing so uh with the installation that comes with this software you might probably get a pdf uh, document that states uh, uh, with uh, uh written code on how you can run this uh, software you can copy and paste it from that code or you can just take note of what i'm typing right now just in case you're doing it for the first time so you know what you you have to do when you're running the avatar fire python okay Now you don't need to add a dot bat in this one because this anaconda prompt is actually a python runner so you don't need to put dot bat dot bat dot bat in every code you run in it okay so just hit enter and it's going to load up let's give it a minute let's give it a few seconds so when it pops up when it started when it it is loaded you're going to get an, uh, a green light on your webcam if you're using webcam external webcam i'm using external webcam for this video tutorial okay so you're going to get uh, a green light if you're using this uh, logitech webcam i wish i can show it to you right now but um no go by your own so just get any webcam that you can and connect it because the webcam that comes with this laptop uh, gaming laptop nvidia graphics laptop are actually not very good webcam okay so we'll give this guy a few seconds now to come up uh, yeah you can see the engine of the laptop is starting to boot up <laughs> all right so my camera is up right now and there's going to be a little pop-up icon on my screen here uh yeah it come up in a bit yes this one which will show my face and this is the samsung boy over here hi how are you great so i'll position this guy to fit in my face let me just tilt my screen a little bit yeah don't throw my phone great so once i am i am setting of the positioning of my webcam to my face what i can do is i can actually zoom this guy in zoom my face in if you want to zoom in you press w on your keyboard w will zoom in if you want to zoom it out you press x to zoom out but i want to zoom it in a little bit uh, i think this is better i'll just tilt my screen a little bit perfect now you hit the x keyboard the x button on your keyboard this one the right here x x so it will load up your okay i'm busy right now i can't take those calls so guess what guess what guess what it's not working come on wait for me to finish my video okay 
this is why you have do not disturb on phones, right? This is the reason. So I'm gonna put my phone on do not disturb right now. And I'm done recording my video, we can continue from there. Okay, so sorry about that call that came in. I had to attend to it and uh, my phone is now on do not disturb so don't worry, nobody's gonna bother us until the end of this video, okay? And now that we're here, you see this man here, Abba Ashton, that is here. Anything I do, he does. If I wave my head, it does wave his head. If I do, whatever, it's just synchronizing with my face right now. So this is a live modeling. And you can actually change this person here. Yeah? Go to the place where you have your avatar. If I Python installed, go to the avatar folder and you can put a photo of the person that you want to use for this call. For this demo tutorial, I am going to show you all of that. So if you want to change the picture, that you have on this folder you hit a to go to the next guy hey hi how are you this is me and that is you and this is another guy here you hit a again and uh, this is job hey job i don't have your phone i'm using an android phone how do you feel about that <laughs> great so back to about asking let us get on with this tutorial video it is strictly educational you are not supposed to use this to but I'm going to prank my little brother with it. So I told him that Albert is actually my mentor, but he wouldn't believe because I don't speak like Albert Einstein. Well, nobody knows how Albert Einstein speaks, but let's get on for the sake of this video. I'm going to call him and tell him, hey, look, I'm Albert Einstein Jr. So <laughs> how do you feel about it? Okay, now let's go. Now, just in case, maybe you, I want to pick something on the, on the floor right now. I just, now the video is distorted. If I get back, it will get back to normal. But just in case you have your video distorted and it's not organized the way you want it to be you hit the x button on your keyboard x button on your keyboard so it gets back to normal okay okay now let's continue with this tutorial now that we have this guy set up i'm going to let me bring it here because i want to use it for test run so i will leave it here first hi and then i'm going to go over to obs O B X. I hit my window and I typed OBS as you can see from here. Open OBS Studio. That's the next step of the video, okay? Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay. Now I already have this guy set up here to display my avatar for Python. If you don't on this uh, end of the screen on your OBS studio this scene section a uh, default scene comes with it uh, scene comes with it then you come to this sources section you click on plus I add this guy here called um, window capture if you add window capture it's going to come up I already have my window capture here and that is it so I will click on this window capture now so that I can change this guy to avatar if I python initially if you have not set this up like this before it should come up like this so although my face i'll be on this obs studio what i'll just do i'll just come over to this window section again click on it and change it to avatarify python i see so whatever i'm displaying with my obs studio will be this nigga hat e so nigga what's up mm -hmm. great so now let me head over to here this section where i will eat start virtual cam now the virtual cam of this obs is running right now so if i head over to whatsapp i might be i will be able to make call and the video that will be displaying on my whatsapp will be this man over here about einstein now whatsapp has a new update that does not let you use uh, uh, uh obs or many cam or display anything other than the integrated camera or external camera connected to your laptop so that is why uh there's a separate video that I make on how you can make video calls on WhatsApp using Avatar Five Python by installing NDIC tools. If you don't have it, this video is in the description of uh, this particular video that you're watching right now. I have the link in here on how you can install NDIC tools on your laptop to be able to write your calls through WhatsApp. To display whatever you want to be displayed on your whatsapp call okay so now that that is done 
so that you can then learn how to do that the uh, uh, distro av connecting the distro av and um, also having the ndics to install to be able to make call on whatsapp watch that video you can push this one and head over there to watch it to get in full knowledge of how you can run all of these things together now the next step is to go over to whatsapp okay now before i start uh making this um uh, whatsapp video call there's an application that i need to start first it's called the ndi sys tools uh, which i just talked about in the ndi sys tool you click on this webcam this one that you're seeing here click on it and it's going to pop up um, some webcam feature that you can use to uh apparently give me a minute okay click on it it's going to pop up the webcam uh, uh, option here yeah so from this webcam option here this one that you're seeing here we have four options to use with the ndi tools so you click on the settings check this OMS and check obs that's simple simply how you do it but for a detailed tutorial uh, you know what to do <laughs> okay now so i'm going to try and call this young man here to show him that i am about the junior now you can see on the video call session hi hello who do you see on your screen you didn't know who Herbert Einstein is do you Oh shit! I just reincarnated, so this is the about I think uh, uh, seventy two. Uh, so yeah, I'm here to complete the work of um, the work of who again? The work of my ancestors. So yeah, yeah. So, so that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Now I just called him, pranking him to tell him that I'm about high school junior. You can see, if I head over to this guy here, OBS, you see this OBS is what's showing here. Don't forget how you got here. You click on OBS, select this about a five Python here, so that it will be what is showing you. You start your virtual cam here, and then you start the NDI search tools, and that's how you run the about a five Python with WhatsApp. You can do the same for Telegram, you can do the same for Google Meet, you can do the same for Facebook, uh, Instagram, whatever you want. So, but please do note that this is only for. Uh, educational purpose and you can use it to prank your friends but do not get involved in any illegal practices for you will be charged okay so now bye i hope you follow me if you're not following me please do follow so that you can get all tips on many other softwares and many other tech tips and many other life act tools we'll be dropping it on this channel step by step as we go okay bye